Now, the U.S. Coast Guard has launched another rescue mission to try to help three British sailors and an Australian who were hurt when a large wave hit their yacht in the Pacific Ocean during the Clipper Round the World race. Attempts to help the crew earlier today were hampered by bad weather. Our news correspondent Sophie Hutchinson reports. Three quarters of the way into the Round the World race, the yacht, the Geraldton, Western Australia, sailing out of a Chinese port. It was headed for America and into a perilous storm. Yesterday, 400 miles off the coast of California, the yacht was struck from behind by a giant wave. These pictures show what it can be like for a vessel in rough conditions, but yesterday's weather was something else. The wave smashed onto the deck, injuring the crew who'd been keeping watch. They, uh, they got hit from behind by a breaking wave and the crew took the full force of that wave um, on them so it knocked, knocked them over and uh, damaged the uh, steering equipment on the boat as well. One member described it as a monstrous foaming swell. 50-year-old Jane Hitchens from Kent, the yacht's medic, suffered the worst injury to her chest and is receiving oxygen to help her breathe. Nick Brabora, who's 29 and lives in London, is thought to have a pelvic injury. And 47-year-old Mark Burks from Worcestershire was also injured, but not seriously. Mark's father says he didn't get much sleep last night after hearing about the danger on board. It is worrying. Um, and I, I won't really be happy until he's ashore, obviously. And the rest of the crew are the injured people, of course. You know, everyone is back and safe. An Australian crew member was also injured in the storm. It's not known how many will be airlifted for treatment. At the moment, the US Coast Guard's main focus is how to get onto the yacht. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.